Hi guys. Um, so you read the title, right? Um, this is your disclaimer, by the way. Um, basically, you and Kilo have made your future kids, right? But you're probably wondering how would that be gender neutral? Now, if I didn't know about this earlier, um. I would have just used mom, mommy, or dad, daddy. But, you know, there are actually gender neutral parent titles. So, basically, um, when you hear a Zaza or a Zither, I'm just going to use Zither, Zither or whatever, um, that would be a gender neutral parent title. And I didn't know about this earlier. I was trying to look it up to see if it was like something, you know, like maybe that exists and it does. So yeah, I'm just gonna use that, uh, zither. Anyways, enjoy. You and Kua were on a walk together. And you um, ran into these two, you ran into this, um, these, this child. And she had walked up to you calling you by dad and zither that was very confusing to you because um well you didn't know this kid so you wouldn't be the parents of her right this uh if there's also the name of an instrument so don't take it as your child calling you by an instrument's name <laughs> also i'll be using my voice for this oh uh there you guys are i've been looking for you all everywhere i can't believe i actually found you uh, who are you? I don't think I know you. Oh, um, I'm, uh, it's hard to explain, but, you know, just, I'll explain it for you. Somewhere privately, though. Uh, all right. Sure, let's go, listener. Hmm. So that's mom. That's so that's if there's real name. Uh, what? Oh, uh, yeah. Zither. So. <clears throat> I am your kid. What? <laughs> no, I don't get that. No, we're a bit too young to be having children, and you look like you're already our age. Yeah, I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, you see, well, uh, hi, um, my name is, well, you guys don't know that. I would have figured that you did, but, you know, this is the past. The past? Wait, how far are you from the future? And you came here from the future? Oh, uh, hmm. When did you guys get married? Oh, okay, so you, uh, 
I'm about twenty. No, twenty nine. I think years in the future. What? Like nearly thirty years in the future? How? Uh, I'm not getting this. Well, you see, time travel. It, you know, we found that in the future. So we, well, I was able to come over here and I wanted to see how you guys were when you first, you know, were together and stuff. Uh, I'm not getting it. Wait, so you're saying that you, some random little girl that we just met on the street, are our daughter? I, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Well, how old are you? Well, like I said, 12. But I do get the, oh, you look older and sound older for your age. Ah, uh, okay. Um, listener, do you believe anything that she's saying? Come on, sister, you have to believe me. What? Oh, yeah, that's the name that they decided to have me call them. Oh, okay, well, do you though? All right. We believe you, but only because you seem so persuading, I guess. <sighs> That's good. Do you, do we have any more children we should know about? No, just me. But you guys are thinking of adopting another kid. Well, no spoilers for the future, I guess. Then again, we've already got a big spoiler right here. You. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. So... You know... There's a lot of stuff that you guys should probably catch up on. You don't know anything. Because you're in the past, and, you know, I guess you want to get to know me? Uh, nah. Um, I think we should find out who you are for ourselves. Oh, alright. Understandable. Well, that's fine. Wow, she's got a pretty big vocabulary for a 12-year-old. Oh, uh, nothing. Um, well, anyways, uh, what's your name? You didn't really say that. I mean, I asked you earlier, but you kind of interrupted it with, you know, everything that's going on. Oh, yeah. I, I'm Annie. Hmm. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you, Annie. Thanks. Uh, I never really thought that I'd actually be able to see you guys. Well, like, younger. My age, almost. Oh, well, it's not... Well, you're here, I guess. And... Um... I'm still kind of shocked by it, too. It's okay. Like I said. It's, like, different. 
I'm so used to my parents being taller than me, but they're right in my line of sight. Ah. I mean... I guess... I still have a hard time believing this, but I think we could get accustomed to it, I guess. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's a bit odd. I, it feels so weird. I, I don't know how to put it. Well, let's get to know you a little bit. Small details. What's your favorite color? Mm, I really like purple a lot. But black is my most favorite. Mm. Um, what do you like to eat? A lot of sweet stuff, really. I really love it when Zither makes me those beautiful brownies. They have a little bit of coconut flavor, too. Maybe I could ask them to make some more in the future. Hmm. I mean, yeah. They do really know how to cook. But I cook for, some, uh, for them sometimes, too. Oh, yeah. You really do cook a lot of good stuff. You both do, actually. Hmm. Well, I suppose you should get going now. Even if we didn't really talk for long, it was nice meeting you. Aw, thanks. It was nice meeting you both too, but unfortunately, you're not gonna remember this. Oh, what? Um, well, in the future, we also have memory wiping tools, which are illegal, but I managed to pick up some because, you know, Dad knows some people. Uh. And yeah, so, Grandma bought me one. Uh, I don't know why. She said something about my career? I didn't really get it. But anyway, you guys aren't gonna remember this, but I'm gonna remember you. And I'm only doing this so I don't mess with the timeline. Uh, okay. This is still so straight. She wired up the machine and time felt and time traveled back into the future. You woke up 10 minutes later, and you didn't remember anything of what happened. Huh? Well, where are we? Did, weren't we just walking down the street? How do we end up in this alley? Well, whatever, I guess. Anyway, as I was saying, what did you want for dinner? You know, I can make pasta, um, maybe some ramen if you'd like. Not the instant type. Um, pasta? Okay, that's cool. Hey guys, uh, yeah, I use my real voice for, uh, you know, Annie. And yeah, um, I called you guys Zither because that's a gender neutral parent title that I didn't know about, like I said, until today. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.